Hello Storyboarders, my name is Eric and today I'm going to show you how to make a graphic organizer using one of Storyboard That's pre-made work templates. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to pick out a template that we like. Now we have a ton of options, but I really do like this first one of the ice cream cone. So all we have to do is click the copy template button below and this will bring us right into the Storyboard creator, which will then prompt us to give our worksheet a name. Now you can name it whatever you would like. I'm just going to go with the standard template one and click continue. All right, now it's time for us to customize our worksheet. This is where we get to add characters, items, update text, whatever it is that we want to do. So I'd like this to be about ice cream. I feel like that's a pretty good idea. So let's add a character eating some ice cream. So if we go up to our characters menu and go under the kids category, I'm gonna pull down a kid here. All right, I like this character. Just drag and drop them into your storyboard. And now we get to customize them. This is where we get to change facial expressions, poses, colors, whatever it is that we want to change. Now, when you're all done making the edits to your character, just click the update pose and there's our character. Now you can move them anywhere you want in your storyboard as well as resize them. Just drag the corner of the image, make them a little bit larger. You can also rotate your characters. If you go to the top in the center button, just drag and turn. There we go. Let's make them a little bit bigger. All right, now I'd like them to be behind this ice cream cone here. So if we go to our right hand menu, we can click send back. All right, perfect. Now next is items. Now you can browse the items category or you can search for a specific item in the upper right hand search menu. Now, since I want to have our character eating an ice cream cone, we're already in foods. So let's just find some ice cream. Uh, desserts should be at the end, so let's scroll all the way over. All right, and there is an ice cream cone. Just drag and drop it into your worksheet. And this item has some image options, so let's see what we got. All right, we can change the number of scoops on our ice cream, so let's go big. And make some fun color changes. And when you're all done, just click Update Image. There we go. This ice cream comes a little big, so let's make it a touch smaller and rotate it so it looks like our character is really holding it. All right, I think that's pretty good. All right, perfect. Now, next is background. Now, this worksheet doesn't have any background, it's just plain white. So let's add in something. So if we go up to our scenes menu, I want something simple, so I'm gonna go over to patterns. And let's find one that we like. All right, I think this gradient is nice and simple. Let's just drag and drop it into our worksheet. And if you go to stretch to fill, you can actually fill your scene without having to do it manually. So let's select that, click OK. There we go. Now when you have your scene in place, all you have to do is send it to the back and we're all set. All right, now it's a little dark up here, so let's change the colors around. You can select colors in the right hand menu. So I'm gonna have the top white and I think that yellow is okay, but I think I'd like it to be a little bit lighter pink. Now you can choose any of these pre-selected colors or you can choose your own custom color. Just click this box and let's make a nice pink. That looks good. Let's change that a little bit more. Let's make it a little bit cooler. All right, when you have your color all set, just click choose. And there we go. Now, last but not least is text. Now you can update any of the pre-existing text boxes. All you have to do is click on them and you can put in your own words. So let's give this some direction. List your favorite ice cream flavors. Ice cream flavors. All right, now you can also change the font as well as its size. Just highlight what you want to change and then go over to your text editor and select a new font. Let's make that a little bit bigger too. So it's a little bit easier to read. All right, great. Now, when you're all done making the changes to your graphic organizer, all you have to do is click the save and exit button, which is in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And that is how you make a graphic organizer using Storyboard That. All right, thanks for watching and happy storyboarding.